Do you think the camp deserves to be restored and holds much importance to the people that are involved in the community here in Naka? I think so. I think so. And I, uh, one time, the Debbie from Coaches College sent me a whole bunch of uh, some kind of uh, paperwork so I could go from house to house and ask him what they thought about it. It was a review of what they, they, they thought about it. And, um, and there was about six questions, something like that, and, and everybody was in favor of that. Because right now, Camp Hill, the only thing that is good for is for illegals to fight. You know? And I, and I, I really, I don't know as much as the ones that are working on it, like uh, JC and uh, the University of Arizona and the Coaches College, how easy it is to get grants or whatever. But I think for historic places like that, there is money there, you know? And I really think that we should do something with it instead of just letting it but in the um, how does the community feel about the preservation as far as, as the timeline that it's taken? I know that there's been a lot of people that, have, that are going to do something with the property, with the structure, restore it, um, and it just hasn't happened. It's been almost 20 years now since the first person has actually came in and, and we started doing something with the project. I just basically want one opinion on that um, because I feel that something is going to happen real soon. Like that. I'll tell you, people over here want that place restored, and the only the only thing that disappoints the people over here it's not camp, the camp that disappoints them because they know that it's going to take a lot of money, and money's got to be. So we got to get the money from grants and stuff like that. You can't get it from taxpayers, you know. The only thing that bothers the people that there has been other organizations that come over here and they say, well, okay, there's an empty space in a certain place and we want to build a, a nice park for the kids. They go ahead and get a grant and then people don't realize that it's not a on the 50s and 40s and 50s anymore. Now they got to come over and test the ground and do a lot of other work before you even build a park, you know? And they, well, you go ahead and test the ground, you come from and you obey and do all this testing. Well, that could have cost money every time you come from your obey over here. Just leave. So actually, we've had a, I don't know, I've heard that this story and I've been involved in trying to get this park ready there. And, and we haven't done anything because actually the money isn't there. And the people over here in Nagra, the majority of the people here are old people. You know? And the ones that are still working, most, most, a lot of them are either retired or in social security and the ones that are working, you know, that jobs over here don't pay that much. So I actually, when you, when you go ahead and, and, and get money from uh, taxpayers, well, they don't have that much money left, you know. Uh, but uh, they're, they're in favor of, uh, of the cash. They'd like to see it restored. In order to obtain funding for the restoration, um, contributing members uh, will, will probably need to know what functions for the camp. Um, some some say you know museum, some park, uh, education involvement with the museum. Others you know would like to develop it for for um, economic reasons for the town. Uh, what what do you feel that yourself as well as the community would, would want to see the the um, restoration to take form and so. You know what I like to see over there is that it's a museum, Star Wars. It's a museum, and you've been, you've seen the camp. You know that square, that that long building there. A museum, a real nice museum. Right in that one of the other buildings there, a library. We even have a guy that told us the other day that if they 
In, in fact, they asked me, what do you order in the library? You already got one over here. Well, okay. The school over here is closed at night. If there's a high school kid, they got to do the homework and stuff like that. They could go over there and do the homework. There's a guy that told us, if you uh, fix one of the buildings for a library, say, I'll get you the computers. He said, I'll get you the computers for it. He said, now, I should come down the houses that are burned down. The houses are burned down. I like to see there. Those houses right there fixed. And let one of the border patrols leave there. And that way, they know that somebody's there keeping an eye. Secondly, the other houses are that burned, fixed them. And uh, on a three-day weekend, there's people who come from Tucson, they come from Safford, they come from all of Delphi. And instead of going from here to Bisbee, rent those places so they could stay at night. And from there they can go golf the following morning and stuff like that. And that would be a little income coming in, you know. Yeah, that's, that's, what I would, uh, that's, what, that's what I would like to... Uh, and, and you know, when you start working on that, as you start working, you, you get more ideas what you could do with the rest of that for the place, you know. But now, it's it's not doing any good, and if we don't do something with them, they're going downhill, you know. They'll, they'll, we'll just lose everything. And then to bring them up from, right from the bottom all the way up, that's what we'll talk about more money. But a, a nice museum for young, and then besides, whenever they, they put a museum, advertise a place. Advertise a place so people can come in and, and see where it's at and, and everything. You know? Another thing that we need, if we restore this place up here, is work with the state. Work with the state and the county so they could put signs in Macro. You know, you get to the circle, you don't find a place where it says now. Uh, there's one about so long and about that wide, right over here by Safeway, where you turn right at the lights, and that's the only one that's there. You know? So actually, you do advertising, and there's no sign over there. <laughs> that a lot of, a lot of people uh, that are coming all the time, you know, Tucson and Phoenix and stuff like that. They know where it's at in the kind of uh, look out for Okay. Okay, Joe. Thank you for your time. Okay. We're gonna get a quick break here. Oh, we're gonna take a break here. <laughs>